Thanks, oh, thank, Chris. Thank you. Hey, now, now we have uh, something uh, very special. We've done it before. It's uh, Graham Borg, your super true facts. I'm going to do like uh, a riff, like, and then like you guys say like two super true facts, okay? Like, like right now. All right, thanks guys. And yes, this is Super True Facts. I didn't have time to research. So, what are the most anticipated movies since Arthur II on the Rocks finally hit theaters this weekend? And it's called Sexy Times at City High. For those who don't know, it's a movie aimed at women who don't yet know that they're postmenopausal. And it's based on the long-running hit TV show, Who's the Boss? <laughs> so the film focuses on the four female Who's the Boss characters, Samantha, Mona, Angela, and Jonathan. But in the cinematic version, saucy redhead Mona looks great. You would never believe this cougar is 112 years old. Samantha is still the slutty one, but has graduated from hickeys to horse cocks. <laughs> Jonathan is the prudish chick and had to adopt a Chinese baby because he can't conceive naturally for some reason. Maybe his vagina's broken. <laughs> and Angela has sex with her strappy sandals for two hours. But she still has unresolved issues with Tony Maselli, who has been renamed Mr. Big. And despite his gruff, chocolatey exterior, on the inside, Mr. Big is all soft, gooey caramel, crunchy peanuts, and a sweet wafer cookie. Then I started getting bored and went theater hopping, but suffice to say, the final battle between Harold and Kumar and Iron Man is well worth the price of admission. I give this movie a B-plus out of five stars. And that's this week's installment of Super True Facts I didn't have time to research. Super True Facts. And it really did sound like it didn't research it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, Stu Great <laughs>